Amazon completed its stock split today and the stock price is now sitting at roughly $120. This is exciting especially for those investors that might not have fractional investing right and they have to buy complete shares before entering a company. Before buying at $2,000 plus was insane but now it probably opens up the opportunity for some investors. On today's episode though I do not want to talk much about the stock split. I want to take a closer look at three unique reasons why I believe Amazon could be a great buy in the long term of things. If this is your first time here, make sure to hit the thumbs up, make sure to hit the subscribe button, check out the pinned comment for a lot of great links and also my new tech channel where I will be posting daily. So let's get started. I do want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video and make sure to check out fool.com slash Jose to get the top 10 stocks to buy right now. All right, so if we take a quick look, right, Amazon right now is sitting at $125.20. As I am recording this episode, the stock is up 2.35%. But we could take a quick look at the chart. It's definitely been a bit volatile. It's, it's had higher peaks and it's definitely had lower lows today. All right. So like I mentioned, three unique reasons why I like Amazon at the moment. And let me know if you share any of these same thoughts. First, let's start off with their, I want to say, one of my favorite reasons. And this is AWS. Uh, so this is their clouding providing solution. And we can see this is a market that continues to grow. In quarter one of 2022, this company reported about $8.4 billion in this market, where quarter one, or about a year ago, of 2021, they reported $13.5 billion. So we continue to see strong growth up 37%. Now, if we take a closer look back in time, right, in like we saw, quarter one of 2021 was about $13.5 billion. Now, quarter one of 2020 was around $10.2 billion, and that was up 32% year over year. So we're continuing seeing strong strength in this AWX segment. And for the past eight to nine quarters, it has been growing quarterly, sequentially, and yearly. Next thing about this AWS, right, we're still here. AWS, their operating income, again, continues to grow. Operating income this most recent quarter was $6.5 billion. Compared to the same time last year, where it was $4.1 billion, and the year before that, so two years ago, was about $3 billion. We continue to see strong growth here in operating income and strong growth in the revenue, both sequentially and quarterly. And here we can see this kind of data from Synergy Research Group and Finbold that the market share of the leading cloud infrastructure service provider is being led by AWS, which holds about 33% of the market as of quarter four of 2021. All right, so the second unique reason is one that I don't feel many people talk about and continues to see strong growth. And this is Amazon's advertising services. I actually do want to add on Amazon subscription services as well. If we take a closer look in the most recent quarter, quarter one of 2022, Amazon reported roughly $7.9 billion in their advertising segment. This was up compared to $6.3 billion a year ago. And if we take a closer look at last year's 10Q report for the same quarter, the kind of advertising segment still didn't have its own unique section. It was still listed as others because the year before that in 2020, it was probably making only about $3 billion in advertisement. So this is a market that has grown dramatically since 2020 in 2021 it grew to strong numbers and now in 2022 making about 7.9 billion dollars that in my opinion is insane we can see subscription services just this most recent quarter was about 8.4 billion up from 7.5 a year ago so both these services are ones that i believe can continue to grow and because these are very much some form of digital kind of aspect business they tend to have higher margins so that is the second unique reason now the third unique reason is one that i probably don't hear much talk about but i follow it because of my kind of prior education prior workforce in the semiconductor industry and that is amazon's chip design so amazon actually designs their own chips for their servers they obviously use some of the big players as well but they did design graviton 3 this is on the third generation now and the reports have shown that this is doing pretty well. So the great thing with this is now AWS has the big players from Intel, the big players from AMD. Now they have their own chips. All those chips, uh, each chip probably has their unique strength. And depending on the customer, they're able to select which type of chip they want to use. There was actually a great article and kind of benchmark testing done by here by Foronis. Uh, and it's, it was kind of Amazon's Graviton 3 versus Intel's and AMD's latest generation chip. 
So out of the 94 tests, Graviton won 43 times, leading both AMD and Intel. Second in place was Intel with 35 wins, and third in place was AMD's Epic with 16 wins. Uh, again, this doesn't mean too much, but it just shows that, hey, there are certain things that AM, uh, AWS's Graviton is a lot better with, and certain customers are going to definitely choose their chips for those reasons. The other thing it shows is that, hey, Amazon is definitely has a great team to continue to this do this chip design this is also an arm based uh, cpu which again is not something we've seen too much into the market right now so again pretty impressive and these are the three reasons i enjoy amazon first i do want to say one thing that might continue to be a bearish thesis for the stock and that is going to be its net income in the most recent quarter the company did report a net income loss they do say the main reason for this loss is a pre-tax valuation on their investment in Brivian Auto automotive which was about 7.6 billion so that alone made this have a net income loss but this is a company that has been using a lot of money to continue to grow its market share especially in the e-commerce business which tends to be a little bit more expensive uh so i do think that's something to watch out we have heard reports of amazon kind of slowing down on kind of distribution centers and maybe subleasing some of those in the future uh so amazon is kind of seeing maybe a little bit of slowdown in its e-commerce market right now and they might have grown a little bit too fast especially in some of their infrastructure than needed uh not a big loss in my my opinion or not something i would completely worry but something i would just keep an eye out as an investor so i hope you guys enjoyed today's episode take care have a good day and see you next time